Welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. And I'm your host, Fam the Fabulous. For more ideas, inspiration, swaps, and challenges, click the link in the description below to join our craft community, The Maker Exchange, on Facebook. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, all my artists, creatives, crafters, and makers. Welcome back to The Lovely Lab. Now, today I am popping on real quick to share with you a quick little envelope that I've made to ship out the keepsake necklaces and these are available in my Etsy shop but for those of you who make jewelry for your friends family or your customers this is a great way to ensure that your necklaces your jewelry arrives to its intended recipient without the additional postage and shipping fees that you may have with a traditional box okay now for the sake of business and branding, mine will still go out in the box. You know, you guys see me make those. Uh, and if you are interested in that, I'll put a card up in the corner. But um, going forward, once those are all out, I will be sending them out in this. Now, I went to go reach for one of the envelopes that I purchased from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. I purchased about 30 and I did not realize that I had no more left. So what I did was I took the sample one that I made using the old stamp that I had that I no longer use. And I deconstructed it a bit just to see how it was made. And so using craft card stock that I have on hand, um, I went on ahead and created this one, okay? So the reason why I like this is because the chain, you can tuck the chain in the back inside the pocket and it holds still even in shipping. So it doesn't move, okay? Because it has those little slits right there. Okay. All right. And so I will show you guys how I made that. Now, what you will need, you'll simply need scissors and glue. If you have a scoreboard, that's great. But the paper you want to use will be heavyweight cardstock, you know, just your standard cardstock, okay? Uh, whether that's double sided paper, white cardstock, or your craft cardstock. Um, whatever you have on hand is fine. You can get two of these three by threes out of one sheet of eight and a half by 11. So if you use a 12 by 12, you'll obviously be able to get more out of it. Now, uh, well, you'll be able to get, yeah, you might be able to get three out of it, okay? Don't quote me on that because I didn't try the 12 by 12. But nevertheless, for those who are returning subscribers, thanks so much for watching. And for those who are new to the channel, if this is something that you're interested in, if you make jewelry, if you like little tips and tidbits and tricks and, you know, hacks and what have you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified every time I put something up that might help you in your brand, all right? Now, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest to music because you don't need me gabbing over that all you need to do is see what I'm doing right so go ahead and grab some cardstock your scissors your glue um, I'm actually going to use score tape a double-sided tape for this because it's just easier um, and I don't want to wait for it to dry uh, but you you can use glue this is definitely something you can make in batches all at one time you know mass make them or make one or two at a time using one sheet of paper so without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started and uh, I'll see you guys at the end Okay, so I would normally go ahead and speed the video up, but I'm going to tell you this. This isn't going to take that long, so, you know, I typically don't want you guys to hear my background noise with my son gaming, but I don't think it's going to take that long, so I'm just going to go ahead and push through it with a little bit of chat so you can hear what I'm talking about, all right? All right, so this is an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, right? I've already cut a 3-inch strip, a second 3-inch strip, because I'm making a three by three um, envelope. Now, whatever size envelope you plan to make, you're going to want to simply add an additional half inch on to your cut. So if you want a five inch envelope, then you wanna cut your strip five and a half by eight and a half, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one into three and a half. And so at this point, I am going to get uh, three of these uh, envelope cards, necklace cards, out of one sheet of eight and a half by 11. So this is the measurements for the score marks, which is quarter of an inch, three quarter of an inch, and six and a quarter. And this is for, again, the three and a half, uh, the three inch card. Now, if you are going larger, you may need to do 
um, a different size cut, different size score, but I don't think that you will. Um, I think you can still use those same measurements um, because unless, of course, you're using a, a very large necklace, in which case this probably wouldn't be ideal for you anyways. So that's a quarter of an inch. This, now we're going over to three quarters of an inch. And because my scoreboard is small, I am going to take this and go, let's see, how do I do this? Go over three, over to three. And this this will be the six and a quarter mark on anybody else's scoreboard, okay? Now we're gonna take this and score a quarter of an inch all the way down. Am I concerned that the whole thing is not fitting on here? Not really. This is what we call improvising. And then we go over here and do a quarter of an inch on this side. I'm going to flip it just to make sure I get a quarter of an inch. Okay. I'm going to fold this up here just so that the whole thing fits. Do the same thing on this side. Just bring the quarter of an inch all the way down. Then you're gonna wanna go ahead and fold all of your scores, score lines, and burnish them so that they are laying flat. Now you, they, you don't have to do too much. Don't don't feel like you gotta do too much to them. Because you don't. Next step, you get your scissors ready, okay? All right, so from here, we need our scissors, which I just should have had out. All right, so this will be like so. So we're going to need to take off Cut that on an angle. Don't get, don't cut off your corners. Then we are also going to cut. Let's see here, how do we do this? We need to cut this off here, which is the top of the envelope, and angle that in a little bit. I couldn't quite get it from that angle. And do the same to the opposite side. And actually what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut that bottom part off. So that we did not need to do. Well, we could have. Okay, so. Here. Okay. So we're going to cut off. part like so. Sorry if that's a little confusing for you guys, but I'll show you at the very end what this should look like cut out. So you can take a screenshot if you need to. Or pause. And actually this part comes off as well. I don't even where I was going with that. All right, so just that simple, okay? So the next thing we wanna do, if you do not have a circle punch, go ahead and get a pen, pencil, get something round like the bottom of your paint, a uh, bottle of paint like so. Trace around it and cut it on out. And this just enables for them to get the necklace out a little easier. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that no edges are showing like it is here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. Okay. 
Now you are also, you can angle it in a little bit just for some added uh, cuteness. And then the next thing you want to do, you can do this with scissors or you can do this with a blade, is angle it about, let's see, a half of an inch on out to the edge, a half of an inch on out on into the edge. And this is where the necklace will sit very safely. Okay. Now again, avoid, and you want to make sure that they're even as best you can, so that there's it's not lopsided. So the necklace doesn't hang lopsided, I should say. Okay. Now, the last thing that I'm going to do is put a. Is, is it here? As, as soon as I can find where the score tape starts. Lord have mercy. Alright. So here we go. Now you can use glue. It's not a big deal, however you want to do it. If you're trying to do this quickly and you want to get your, your things packaged quickly, then score tape is always your best friend. Uh, but if you've got time to wait for the glue to dry, and move on to your next step, then go ahead and use your glue. Or if you have tacky glue, tacky glue is awesome. All right, and it's really just that simple, guys. I didn't even have to put music to that. Well, I didn't have to speed it up. Just that quick. So this is something that you can take a few minutes or maybe 30 minutes and take a sheet, one sheet, and go ahead and cut several out. Just uh, move that. This is sometimes the tricky part. Trying to get this stuff lifted. You think I would have just grabbed the right tool for it, right? Alright, let's see what I have. Pull that up. Oh, it's stubborn. Off we go. The sleeves aren't helping off we go and again this makes mailing your necklaces and bracelets off a lot less expensive than um wait wrong side Ooh. a lot less expensive than packaging them in the boxes you still can package them in the boxes but if you're trying to mail a, a, a number of them out this helps keep your shipping costs low so from this point, you can let me just cut a little piece of that down so that it closes properly. From this part point, you are free to embellish as you'd like or stamp your branding on here, which I will do later on. <laughs> small business, small shop, a jewelry maker. And uh, thanks so much for, for watching, guys. Drop your comments in the, the... Drop any feedback in the comments below. And until we're back together here on YouTube and Patreon, my friends, stay encouraged, stay blessed, stay creative and crafting. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to join the crafty community and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Now stay tuned for more from Libby's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. Bye for now.